Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Happy Memorial Day to you. And I tell you, today is just an exciting day for us to be grateful uh, for all of those that have paid um, the ultimate sacrifice uh, for you and I to have this freedom that we have each and every day. And uh, whatever you have planned um, for today, I, I pray that God just gives you just an incredible day to, to be still and just to remember to remember today all of those that have, have fought in arm's way for you and I, but also all of you out there joining us all around the world, knowing that um, if you have active military personnel in your family or maybe in the past and now they, they've retired wherever you're at today, I just, I just want to let you know that Waters Edge Church loves you and uh, we thank God for you each and every day, particularly at today as we think about Memorial Day. And so whatever plans you have um, with family and friends, uh, just know we here at WEC are thinking about you, and we're so grateful for them here, here today. And I pray, pray God just gives you an incredible day. So I'm going to be kicking off this week daily devotions with you guys. Looking forward to talking a little bit about Jonah, Jonah coming at you this week. And um, we had an incredible message our lead pastor gave us: running with the giants, running with the giants. And uh, Jonah was a character. I tell you, the, the message, there's lots of great things about Jonah um, that our lead pastor shared with us. But um, today I want to talk with you just a little bit about what does it, what does it mean to, to have something so heavy on your heart and just not knowing what to do about it. And so, um, well, you know the story of, of Jonah, and I got some notes here I'm going to share with you that, that it was hard for, for Jonah to obey God, to go back to Nineveh, because he basically thought that like they had no, they had no hope right? No hope. And he goes, he was basically saying, you know what, they're so far removed from God's grace. They don't deserve it. I don't need to go back to Nineveh. There's no way. And it's like he despised them. And um, so he disliked them for a lot of different reasons. But in Jonah chapter, Jonah chapter one, Jonah chapter one, verses one and two, I'm going to read this to you really quick here. I got in my notes here. Jonah one, here we go. It says this, um, the word of the Lord came to Jonah, Jonah, some Amittai, Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it because the wickedness has come, has come up before me. So God is telling Jonah, hey, Jonah, I need you to go and speak truth, to speak truth to these, to these people. And so what I'm wondering for you today is, as you think about what is God maybe asking you to do, that you're like, there's no way, God, there's no hope for that person. There's no way they're going to be rescued from uh, whatever they're going through. And you're just like, you want to go the other way. Uh, you just want to be like, you're going down the aisle of the grocery store. And you're like, nope, I'm going the other the other way. That's kind of how Jonah was thinking is he was just like, man, I did not want to do that. But God commanded him to do that. So question for you. Is there someone in your life that you can think that is not worth the time or effort? You know, think about the people that you hang out with. Think about the people that you do life with. Think about your coworkers, family, friends. Is there somebody in your life that's like, man, I don't even know if it's worth the time and the effort to engage in conversation, to go back and talk to them or, or preach to them, like share the truth of who God is in your life. And so right now, uh, my prayer for you and for I is to take that, that truth and say, God, you know what, who is that one person I need to start taking the time and effort to go back and to, um, to, to speak truth and to reconcile uh, that relationship. Um, John chapter 10, verses 27 and 28 says this. You're going to love it. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What does that mean? So as children of God, we hear the voice of God, right? As children of God, we hear the voice of God. And when God speaks to us, we act and obey. Because I think I shared this a couple weeks ago, maybe delayed obedience is disobedience, right? So we have to choose to obey. And um, once we obey, we hear the voice of God calling us to go. We got to go. And um, Nineveh, or, sorry, Jonah did not want to go back to Nineveh. And um, so maybe today, um, maybe you have a lack of um, compassion or maybe you're just like, man, I just don't feel it in my heart to go reconcile or make things right with that person or a situation. But maybe maybe God's stirring in your heart today to go that his voice, his voice is telling you to go. His voice is telling you to go. But um, but God God was always with Jonah, and uh, we're going to take a little bit more uh, steps into his story this week as we think about the obedience that God God gave him. Um, but maybe today you find yourself on this Memorial Day uh, remembering some things in the past of 
some things that you know you may need to get right. And um, we're going to be talking a lot about that this week when it comes to the study of Jonah, running with the giants, and uh, particularly Jonah. And uh, so maybe as you think about today and looking into this week, is there someone in your life that you need to begin to ask God uh, for another chance that you've been putting off? Someone you know in your heart that's just heavy, that you know you need to have the conversation. Um, and if God is calling you to do that, you need you need to do it. And uh, so Jonah chapter one is kind of the start of the week for us here on Daily Devotions. And this is Memorial Day. And uh, many of you are probably got big plans today, but just kicking off today, my prayer for you is to remember all that those that have gone before us, but also remembering today <clears throat> that God may be speaking to you, that you listen to his voice about maybe that one person <clears throat> or situation you need to go and reconcile it back. So that's my challenge to you on this daily devotion. Um, I pray that today, Memorial Day, you have an incredible day. And um, I pray that God just uh, blesses you, watches over you. And again, all of you out there, um, all around the world, the military, thank you so much for what you do. And uh, all of you that have um, just sacrificed so much, thank you for what you've done. And uh, we love you for that. We love your families. And I just pray that God will just enrich, enrich you today with his amazing grace and uh, thank you again for all that you all that you do. Let's pray. God, today, thank you so much for the opportunity we have to, to study your word just a little bit today on Memorial Day. And God, I just pray that you will just uh, strengthen us, God, as we seek and have a desire to maybe just hear your voice today of going and reconciling today. And uh, God, thank you for what you're going to do this week in our study. In Jesus' name, amen. You guys have a great day. Great day, and uh, we'll be seeing you for daily devotions this week, y'all. Looking forward to spending time with you guys. Have a good day.